The story is told about two boys, Avram and Israel, who lived in the city of Lubavitch in Russia a hundred years ago. They were mischievous kids, always got into trouble. And one year they pushed the line too much. They gave a little vodka to the goats. They got them drunk. And the Rosh Yeshiva, the head of the academy, said, I've had enough of you, and he expelled them from the yeshiva. The boys were devastated. They thought they might be punished, but to be expelled from yeshiva? They begged and pleaded, but nothing helped. The Rosh Yeshiva decided, no, you guys are going home. So Avram thought, I have an idea. He decided to do a bold act, and somehow he managed to get into the house of the Rebbe, the Rebbe Rashab, when he was eating lunch with his Rebbe Tzim. When the Rebbe looked up from the table and saw the boy, the boy Avram started crying, crying bitterly. Rebbe, please, you got to help me. I'm so upset. I'm so sorry. The Rebbe listened and said, I will do my best and I'll help you get back into Yeshiva. The Rebbe was not expecting Avram to leave, but he didn't. He kept standing there. So the Rebbe said, is there anything else you need? He said, yeah, Rebbe, my friend Yisrael has also been expelled. So the Rebbe said, I'll try and get Yisrael in back too. And indeed, the Rebbe spoke to the Rosh Hashiva and he brought them back into the Yeshiva. Many years later, when these two boys grew up, they moved to Israel. And it was a fine Shabbat afternoon. They were having a Fabrengen. And Avram shared this story. And in the crowd was sitting a great rabbi, a famous man called Reb Mendel Futifas. And Reb Mendel turned to Avram and said, You think that the reason why you were admitted back into the yeshiva is because you did a bold act, because you pleaded, you cried, you begged the Rebbe to help you? He said, that wasn't your ticket back into yeshiva. It was the fact that you cared for your friend Israel. That's why the Rebbe made sure you get back into the yeshiva. And we're now just before Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Tonight, this Shabbat, Motzei Shabbat, the Ashkenazi community starts saying slichot. We ask for forgiveness and we beg Hashem to have a good new year. But what's our ticket to get blessings and a great year? It's not going to be so much our pleading and our asking for forgiveness and all our prayers. Our ticket is going to be our care for somebody else. Making sure that our brethren, our brothers, our friends, are also involved in the Chagim, that they're also coming to Shul, that they're also going to come to hear Shofar. Make sure that there's somebody else that you also bring in. And then you're guaranteed a great year. Because like parents, the biggest nachat that they have is when one brother and sister takes after the other brother and sister. And then they'll do everything for their children because they're so pleased to see such behavior. That is why Parashat Nitzavim which is this week's parasha, is always read before Rosh Hashanah. Because the Torah tells us, you stand firm, your judges, your rabbis, all the way through till the woodchoppers. What the Torah is telling us, when do we stand firm? Is when we're all together. When we care for each other from the top till the bottom. Let's conclude with a short anecdote where they say, what's the difference between an Israeli, a Russian and an American to come to a party? The American brings a check. The Russian brings a bottle of vodka. The Israeli brings a friend. So the joke is kind of knocking the Israeli, but actually, this is what it's all about. Bring a friend. So let's make sure that these Chagim, we bring a friend and we'll be blessed with the ultimate blessings, which we all need of health, happiness, a good year, and the coming of Mashiach, Spilina days. Shabbat Shalom.